shop ya Samiboy na tumepata na the Pluto mwenyewe. Samiboy pia yuko na tukua na Liz Jackson. Anyway, Pluto, ukwa, ukwaje? Niko Freshi. <laughs> Uko Freshi uh, Barida. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, wanda unengia wa mwisho, kiongozi? Mwazee ni jam, rejua tau kuna nyesha. Uh -huh. uh, Saa tume, eh, tau mbua ni kubwa. Uh -huh. So tume kwa mkwa mkwa kudago. Uh -huh. mm. Abu tuambie, ime kuwaje ukamua. Yani yata ukichelewa, lazima uh -huh. ufike kumsupportu ukijamu. Eh, hey, lazima ningekamu. Yote ye nikifanya mashuguli zangu la viva wapi manzei wanakamu. Uh -huh. So, singe kosa. Uh -huh. Heri nizimamisha shuguli enye, nimezimamisha actually. Nilitoka gym nikaenda Karen kuna vitu nilikuwa naangalia angalia nikamwambia lazima nitoke mm -hmm. so nimeacha shughuli ikiendelea mimi nikakuja hivi lazima ningekamu mm -hmm. yeah. okay unajua wewe unakuanga mm -hmm. msemo wenyewe so many times una mm -hmm. posting pale kwa mtandao mm -hmm. una insist una insist on wa vijana ku invest mm -hmm. yeah, na sure. leo mm -hmm. samiboy anafungua a, a, mm -hmm. a shop mm -hmm. una filaje kama kijana kwa na kijana mwenzako mm -hmm. ana make a huge step mm -hmm. na feel poor unajua tunasemangaje anytime unaenda on your way up and you cannot be able to eat alone at the high table. You need friends. You need people. So lazima msupportiane kama vijana, at least to kuwa on top huko solo, mko na wengine. Kama unaweza itisha ile kitu ya domob, kama ndio dish ya ya domob anywhere, like huko solo, because you need friends to eat with and to discuss things. You understand? Yeah. So you may feel fit nikiona vijana like you know it's a challenge. To even uh, small entrepreneurs, who can inje big entrepreneurs, you know, show even uh, nini youngsters, eh? What they work like in one shower is a grow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, so it's a challenge. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Samuel, yeah. you know, Pluto, I'm a fika about support. Uh, first, of, first of all, I want to thank him. I'm so grateful, bro, for coming up. You know, me na me like support me, sisi, you know. I've always wanted to give a hand where I'm given a hand, yeah? So, leo mina shukuru sana bro, kama ndugu yangu wa ukweli, mekujia kuni support because me most of the times when I look like ukona show, event, whatever reason, uh, you know, ile nye wanasema mtu anta kuenda mali, ni wanatu afadhali niende ni, afadhali niende ni simame na ndugu yangu pale la viva, ni kim support, ni ki push, influence, pia siku yangu itafika na leo amefika na mimi nashukuru sana kama ndugu yangu that's the main agenda yenye iko kwa hilo nchi yangu ya gaming shop and uh, i thank him as a youngster i see like my fellow youngster and i support yeah okay some boy yeah. nimeona watu wengi sana especially wasani pia wamefika hapa ku support ulitumia strategy gani kuwa invite ama ulikuwa tu naambia mtu kama ndio rafiki yako afike ni ndugu zangu most of the artists like i'm saying they are normally my my friends yani not only like in our school ya kama wasanii ni mandugu zangu in privately we normally talk on uh, challenges vitu mingi sana zenye sisi tunakuanga nazo kama mavijana so unaona nikiona grand opening kama hii hata nispo nispoambia generally wao hukuja kuni congratulate unaona mimi uchi kwa hiyo time kidogo na wajulia hali kuna keep communication unajua mtu anasema msania hezi respond kwa message yako wajulie hali they are normal people like any other person yeah so kukuja kwa hapa ni, ni juu wao wanajua pia mimi naweza kuwa wakinihitaji ya so strategy yenye nilitumia kuna actually most of these people who come here we, we are close friends like in personal levels because me i take time and i take my moments to stay with them to think of uh, more, more things with them so yeah wao kuja they normally volunteer to come and support me volunteer i don't pay them i don't ask for anything actually wao kuja yeah Una kongo kitoambia uko na apart from online pale YouTube yenye tumekuja watu wengi wamekam kukujua lately with uko na mabiashara mingi sana but today ona uko umetuwekea biashara hub out there are we expecting pia wewe tukuje grand opening ya one of your stars uh, let me just announce this eh? next week kuna kitu kubwa tuna launch hapo hivyo uh, Vika Road na ni Daumba Sap ya mabeshte nani wakuja pale manze eh niko na grand unajua by the way ime macho in a way lazima niseme congratulations sami boy mimi like niko na busy most of the times ni ile nafungua anga tu alafu ina like say hizi nimeona I, I see the need of uh, you need peer your friends to see what you are doing so that eh? unajua sometimes unaweza shindo eh hey, ni aje best go ku promote kumbe ni juje i'm sure i do this and this you see that's a nice opener and that's why by then i may learn from this event eh? so like uh, next week there is something coming up and uh, 
tutafanya kitu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay Pluto. Yeah. Leo umefika hapa ku support Sammy mm-hmm. Boy. Yeah. And unfortunately uh, just I think it was on Sunday yeah. there was an event mm-hmm. ilikuwa ya Gadimiti mm-hmm. and Gadimiti ali complain sana sana. Mm-hmm. Akasema Pluto alikuwa kuja kukuja mm-hmm. na ukafika pale kwa page yangu uka reply ukasema uliko ufike but unfortunately uka, ukapata mashughuli. What can you say about it? Ni la watu wengine wa kitrack sema squeeze Pluto ako na kiburi si mm-hmm. nini? Si kiburi. Mm-hmm. Sasa nilikuwa kwa meeting na ilikuwa ni very urgent and I niliandika hapo na nikasema I'm going to make it up for the meeting. Mm-hmm. Juni nilikuwa nimemshow even that morning nilikuwa yeah. namwambia na kam. So nikiwa Dika Road nikapigwa simu so lazima ningeenda. So kuenda hiyo meeting ika ka weekend uh, almost at 9 pm. So mwanzi nikashindwa ku make hiyo event. Mm-hmm. But nikasema I'll make it up for him. Mm-hmm. I'll know how. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Wewe una job nyingi utaifanya. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, lit. Ah, niko na swali kimya team ya hii event ni Cool Kids Connect. Yeah. Hii Cool Kid yenyu kila mtu anaweza ingia ama kuna procedure. No, Cool Kid is just a it's a general word for anybody who can believe in a, a modern uh, world. Me personally me I'm pushing for modern technology, modern lifestyle, modern thinking kila kitu because we are so way behind ukiangalia kama country. We are like first world country na wengine wako. I mean tuko like third, third, third world country, yeah hatujafikia hata second world country because we are behind because watu wengi wana believe like a cool kid ni mtu mwenye akona pesa magari you know hapana cool kid is the way you think the way you handle yourself the lifestyle right now everybody who is here is a cool kid the reason why i'm using the hashtag connect is because any youngster mwenye ako huko nje anaweza kuja a connect na mtu yoyote mwenye anafikiria hawezi mpata it's so simple as you can see around wasani wote wamekuja hapa wenye wengi wao hata angewahi wapata lakini wamekuja hapa it's called connect every time this house is full of connection you play a game with someone you talk you connect so Did you yeah. think uh, some boy ukitai play school kids maybe was a uh, vijana wa pale ghetto kidogo hata feel wamekuwa left out uh not really it's a misinterpretation of the word cool kid because personally me mean cool kid full time cool kid verified cool kid it means the way i handle myself you know i've been living my life as a cool kid since my young age it didn't mean i didn't associate with the the other people outside there yeah, most of the people i associate with are my real friends my brothers yeah i don't take anybody or i don't choose standards yet inaenda ku chill na mtu fulani na fulani na siezi chill na huyu yeah so the reason why i say cool kid it's because i normally see anybody as a cool kid yeah Sami boy niko na swali. I think most of the people who have attended this launch are your friends. Na unajua vile mabeshti na biashara sometimes inakwanga tricky. Yeah. So for example mtu amekuja amesema Sami boy nataka kucheza free. How do you draw that boundary? There is always a biz- there is always business and there is always brotherhood, yeah? Personally I don't take that as uh, some hiyo ndio kitu inafanyanga biashara nyingi zinakufa. And most people don't get it, yeah? You can't mix friendship, family, brotherhood na biashara. If your if your friend is not supporting you he's not your friend yeah you need to support my business mimi ukiwa na car wash siwezi kuja kuosha gari yako free because gari yangu ilichafuka nikiwa biashara zangu wewe ume take time yako unioshe gari i'll do the same if you come here you want to play make sure you come to, with money you want to play ukinipata huko kama rafiki kama mimi ni Sami Boy na nataka kucheza nitalipa it's my own business i don't misuse the the investments to anybody i've never done that and i don't expect that from any of my friends yeah so i'll make sure in general I'll make sure in general eh mtu yote mwenye anakuja huko anaelewa hiyo terms no mixing business no debts hatutaki tuishi tu kama modern people kama una pesa si lazima no no unaweza nipigia kama Sami Boy tupatane tukunywe kahawa lakini usilete urafiki kwa biashara yangu yeah <laughs> Rajua, me, I always have this saying as a kikuyu man. As a kikuyu man. Una vitu we don't we don't reveal everything eh. And I repeat this, if you have 100 cows, you say you have 50 plus, 70 plus, 80 plus but not 100 eh. Lakini mimi niko kwa niko kwa real estate by the having mentioned of that, uh, I guess we are launching some to launch vitu kadhaa. Uh, because I just completed an, a branch of my office somehow I was arrested yeah. so me nauza mashamba bro 
Nauza tunajenga manyumba tukiuza. Unaona? Mnaonanga nikipost pale hivyo kwa mtandao. Tunajenga tunauza. Ana unanunua shamba kubwa unakata una split unauza. So that is that is one. Niko na biashara za Airbnb in Mombasa. The best place iko Sultan. Sultan Kikambala. Uh, we have zenye ziko mtoapa pia. Hata uh, huku tu around uh, Roisambu. If it's about Airbnb. Ni mingi tumejaribu kuin I do I do ho, nini serious business in wholesale. Mimi naendea Mwea mchele na supply. Sasa na business. I do I, ni legit. That is the point. Eh? Okay. <laughs> the point is home legit business. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. okay, coming to me my point. Uh, most people let me let me let me talk of myself, yeah? Most people me this is what I get 90% of my day, yeah? Mimi ni mwaipata kijana akaniambia mimi ni Illuminati nimsaidie kuingia. <laughs> Na nielewa. Mtu mwingine amekuja akaniambia ni mwingishe fraud business. Because sisi wa Kenya tunakuangana akili yenyewe. You can't use your mind to make money. Ukiangalia wa South Africa pale na watu wa US most people wenye wana deal na crypto ni watu wenye wakona pesa sana. Unanielewa? Look at the people driving Lamborghinis. Where do you think that money come from? Ukiangalia economy yao iko juu sana because a 19 year old person driving a Lamborghini is something different. But Kenya uki own Lamborghini mara woke are iko nyuma yako. Okay, let me mention about my my wealth. Me personally nilianza crypto nikiwa 19 years. Ilikuwa inaitwa buy hold and sell, yeah? Me have been doing I, I worked uh, nilifanya kazi Airtel Networks. Nilifanya for one year. Hivyo ndio nilijenerate pesa yangu ya kwanza kuanza nao crypto. Me nil believe in modern chipping, kufanya chip coins and everything yenye ilikuwa ina deal na crypto na forex. So from there I've been be able to manipulate the market to understand the market to deal with the, the American people. Yaani mind yangu ikaseti wako watu wa America. That way my currency is in US dollars. It won't be the same as a Kenyan person. You know Right now if you tell someone here Kenya if you tell me like a thousand US dini uh, ni pesa mingi kwako mimi kwangu si mingi because mimi I use my currency as the US person yeah so hiyo profits kidogo zenye tumekuwa nazo ndio tumeweza kujijenga nazo in a positive way and yeah i mentioned this on uh, the first live watu wengi pale nje wenye wameona maybe niko na gari mbili tatu wameona lifestyle most people use my name like you told me if someone came to your DM anakuambia Sami Boy alinikon pesa yeah I think you know the Pluto mpata kama hizo moja mbili. Yeah. So at the end of the day mimi nakwambia hivi Pluto hawa say wenye wanakujanga kwa page yangu. I think there was a time if personally you mentioned someone used your name ukoni watu and you posted wako yeah. The same thing happens to me. Being an influencer being someone who was at least something more than someone it's costing yeah. So this person used my pay, my image akaenda akakoni. Actually last year December I had a case of uh, a woman mwenye alikoni wa 200,000 using my name. So kuja kwa page yangu the woman never understood me nikimwambia wewe si mimi because ya ukweli yeye picha yenye aliona ni ya nani ni ya Sami Boy nikimujibu unajua demand alikuwa ananiambia ni mulipe mimi ndakulipaje na in the first place when you are dealing with your business you didn't tell me yeah so ina kwa ngumu unapata mtu kama huyo mara ameenda kukua accuse pale nini na nini but at the end of the day this is a jungle unaona you better stay true to yourself make your own money motivate others when you want to benefit or benefit because at the end of the day even the jungle unapata kuna let me say zebras ziko mingi but at the end of the day moja inakufa because the lion must eat yeah so that's it so for now maybe a sharangu tu ni trading na cryptocurrency and I nafanya and i guide and mentor people pale instagram that's where i think nimegain popularity yangu from yeah